Good morning, everybody. Happy Friday. It is a nice, long weekend that we get to celebrate and maybe uh, kick back with some friends and our family and really enjoy an extra day off this coming Monday. So I hope you're all ready. Good morning, Nick. Hello, everybody. Nice to see you. Today, we are gonna talk about your headspace. <laughs> Good morning, Ivana, nice to see you. Hi, Claire, nice to see everybody. Good morning, Melissa. Good, everybody's coming in. Good morning, Tina, hi, everybody. So, we're gonna talk about what is taking up your headspace. What are you giving that precious real estate to, right? Good morning, William. Hi, Eleanor. Because so many times we can get lost in our own thoughts, in our own head, and we can get consumed by basically things that aren't gonna help us, things that don't matter, things that really uh, are, are negative, right? They're gonna bring us down, they're gonna make us doubt ourselves, and yet we tend to give it so much value. We tend to give those negative thoughts more value than we do the positive thoughts. And why is that? Why do we do that? Is it safer? Is it more comfortable? It's about learning where are you directing your thoughts? Where are you saying, hey, this deserves more real estate than that negative thought, right? Good morning, Jamie, hi. So it's a, hi, Susan, good morning. So ask yourself, you know, really kind of keep a log. Keep a log of what are your daily thoughts, right? Good morning, Nicole, hi, everybody. What are your thoughts? And as you, they come in, write them down because you may be surprised at what thoughts you are manifesting, what thoughts are popping in, and what is it you're telling yourself every day? You know, how are you speaking to yourself? Are you positive? Are you your own best cheerleader? We should always be our own best cheerleader, right? If we don't support ourselves, how can we expect other people to support us? So we have to kind of be there, right? You gotta be there to have your own back, and then others will have your back as well, right? Good morning, Kelly. But a lot of times, you know, we just let the negative thoughts overtake us. We let this uh, headspace really mess with us and mess with our ambition, mess with our passion, mess with our beliefs, and we do it over and over and over. How many times do you spin a thought around, right? You will sit there, it's like a washing machine. It will sit there and go around and around and around. And it isn't until we put the brakes on that we say, hey, this isn't okay, this isn't a good thought for me, this isn't a healthy thought for me, that we can reformulate. Ask yourself, how can I say this in a positive way? You know, learning to nip it in the bud, stop it in action, becoming more aware of what is staying in your head space, right? If you have thoughts, like let's say you're sitting at your desk and you hate your job. <laughs> if you sit there and keep saying, I hate my job, I hate my job, I hate my job, I hate my job, you're not really doing anything about it to put yourself in a position to change that. All you're doing is reinforcing how much you hate your job. So allow yourself to say, hey, you are so much more capable than what you're doing. Happiness is so more at your doorstep than you are realizing, so put yourself out there. Having that self-love, that self-positive talk, again, being your own best cheerleader. Because you deserve it. We all deserve it, but we can all just find these things that consume us. You know, we nitpick at ourselves too. How many of you nitpick at your weight or how you're performing or whether or not you were good enough at something? You know, how you reacted to something rather than just cutting yourself a, a, some slack, cutting yourself a break here. Because again, we're, we're our harshest critics, right? Our harshest critics. and. 
Why are we not loving ourselves enough to sit there and give the headspace, the, the positive, the love that it deserves, right? Tell yourself that you can do it. Tell yourself that no one else is better than you. What, why are we giving that, that space to, to something that doesn't serve our highest good? So ask yourself, what can I say to myself today that is loving, that is kind? What thoughts can I fill this space with that feel positive, that feel enlightening, that feel powerful, that feel motivating, that feel inspirational? You be there so many times for other people. Why not be there for yourself? How many friends, family call you and wanting a pick me up? And you do it over and over and over, right? Hi, Lapito. You sit there and do that over and over and over for others, but are you doing it for yourself? Are you giving yourself your own pep talk? Because we all need to give ourselves a pep, pep talk, right? We all need to sit there and say, hey, just so you know, hey, here you go, you got this. And allow yourself to move that self-doubt, move that self-worry, move that insecurity out of your headspace, and really replace it with that positive affirmation, you know? Practice those in the mirror. Positive affirmations are so wonderful to practice. Look at yourself in the mirror. Tell you you're beautiful. Look at every line, every crease, every roll, whatever you've got, look at it with pride, look at it with excitement, look at it with joy. I want you to really sit there and enjoy where you are, okay? So that is our inspirational talk for today. And I want you to enjoy the weekend, have a beautiful weekend. Get out there and, and really look at what's taking up that headspace, okay? Remember everybody, shine your light and shine it bright. I will see you guys Tuesday. All right, everybody, bye-bye.